afternoon everybody today I'm going to show you how to modify your Lenovo type 4338 4337 or 4336 uh, docking station to better ventilate your laptop what this will achieve is it removes this fence assembly here that's intended as a guide when you put the laptop in and dock it but the problem it creates is it the laptop comes very close to this edge and it causes the laptop to overheat and a lot of people have indicated that they take those off I've seen a hack where somebody just rips it off uh, that's kind of not my style so I thought I'd make this short video to show you the better way of doing this and I've modded uh, about a half a dozen of these now and I've got the process down pretty good where it doesn't even require uh, complete assembly for example this part here is a regular bear to put back together if you have to take that off uh, so I've done this um, video to kind of show you a way around that so here's what it looks like with a Lenovo ThinkPad T430 docked into the type 4338 and you can see over here how close the fence gets to the laptop so you can see with the cooling ducts right there, you can see how it would obstruct the airflow some. Uh, the backside's got a louver on it, so uh, not as much of a problem. But my understanding is that the airflow kind of goes through here and cools the um, fan and cooling assembly through there. Uh, one of the advantages of having a dock is it puts physics on your side because it lifts the back of the laptop up. And heat rises, of course, so this will help uh, on two fronts because now you're going to take this away. And with the dock here, it lifts the back up, so the whole thing ought to cool better. Uh, mainly because this part is gone, but also this back part here uh, does do some obstruction of the airflow. For this hack, you need two tools. You need a small Phillips head screwdriver and a spudge tool to keep the... Um, top loose from the base and you're going to take off a couple of screws here I'll show you which screws apologize this is kind of our jerky video there's a screw right there there's a screw right there that you want to take off and on the bottom you want to take off this screw and this screw right here and we'll rejoin the video after I get all those off. So I've removed that screw, that screw, the screw right here, and the one in the middle right there. And the two on the bottom base are the same screw. This screw and this screw are, of course, both different. And I got to make a comment at this point. Whoever designed this thing obviously didn't have a love for production line workers too much because this thing is a nightmare to put back together if you take it all the way apart the idea is you gently pull this part off and then start to lift the whole assembly up and then when it when it does that you'll see the screws that need to be re removed they're actually on the bottom of this and on the bottom of this on this side and what it does is it takes this whole piece right out the guide fence and the rail. So what I've done here is I've lifted this whole thing up with a spudge tool and you can see right there there's one of the screws. I don't know how well it'll focus but that kind of gives you the perspective on that one and the other one is on this side. Let's see if I can find it here. It's right down in there. It's a little hard to see because the front side of the uh, bottom of the dock is not up nearly as high as the bottom part or the back part. And I apologize, this is kind of a jerky video, but it gives you an idea of where it's at. So here's removing this screw right here. Basically, you just get down in there and it'll be at an angle a little bit. And just gently twist it out. And then you do the same for the other one. 
This is on the front side of the dock. You should be able to see that pretty good right there. Apologize. There's the screw head. I apologize. It's kind of tight quarters. And again, your screwdriver will be at a little bit of an angle. But you should be able to hit the head pretty good. As you can see, the two screws are out. And then you just flip it over. And the whole assembly just comes completely off. And you can save it and put it back on if you need it for some reason in the future. But what this does for you is it completely frees that area up so that when you have the dock put back together, and I'll show it, show it to you when I get all the screws back in, you'll see how much of a difference in available space there is to the side of your laptop. So here it is all put back together, minus the guide fence, the rail, and the two screws. And it looks like that. Looks... Uh, relatively finished i mean you could probably down in here put a little tape or something if you're concerned about getting crap down in there um, that might be a concern but uh you can see here when i dock up the 430 how much extra space there is now one kind of cautionary note without the guide fence there you're going to have to feel where it is and kind of let it drop in you can see how much extra distance there is in there and it, d it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that it will probably cool a lot better. The other side benefit of this is it doesn't just fit T430, T420, uh, T530, all the 30 series laptops uh, that, are, that are larger, all of the T series were originally designed to fit with that fence. But now that this fence is gone, uh, you've got some other options so you can dock a uh, X230 tablet and I have one of those I'm going to dock that up shortly stand by so this is an X230T that's now docked up on here and you can see where before it would not have fit with the guide fence and the rail on there uh, it now fits pretty good and it actually looks fairly professional um, again this is an X230T tablet computer and when you go to put this one on the dock, it takes a little bit of hunting around, but if you remember where it has to be positioned approximately, you can make a pretty easy job of it. One downside to using this dock for the X230T instead of the Ultra Base, uh, this doesn't give you um, the DVD slot, uh, optical drive slot that the Ultra Base has, but um, you can always hook an external DVD uh, to one of the many USB ports on the back of this thing. Um, and this has eSATA and it also has, um, I believe it also has um, USB 3. Um, so one other thing I wanted to cover, because this is kind of two hacks for the price of one. Um, in addition to this mod right here, Something else I've done with this docking station is to put Velcro on the bottom. You can see I've got four patches of Velcro there, and I'll explain what that is uh, used for in just a second. So if you use a Lenovo Easy Reach monitor stand, you know that when you put the um, dock in here, all it has are those two little pins right there to locate it, and it seemed to me to be pretty loose so i put some velcro down on the base this side is the um the loop side of the velcro and on the base of the docking station i've got corresponding patches and when it's put in there it's held down a whole lot more securely i think um that keeps it from migrating it around so when you go to put the laptop on the dock it's not drifting all over the place while you're trying to find uh, the docking port on the bottom of the laptop and that problem is a little bit accentuated by the fact that we now don't have the guide here so this makes it a little bit sturdier and a little bit easier to to find the docking port as you're docking the laptop up there's what it looks like installed and as you can see it makes this pretty solid now that it's not 
I'm yanking on it pretty good and it's not moving around at all. Uh, so th that's a just another little hack I did to um, kind of make this a little bit more stable. And I have another uh, Lenovo Easy Reach stand um, that uh, has actually another docking station mounted up here. I'm going to do a configuration like this um, where you have one dock on the top of the Easy Reach and one on the bottom. Got Velcro on both. You pretty much have to use it on the top because on the top of the Easy Reach monitor stand, there's nothing but a flat shelf with two stops at the back. And if you don't have Velcro on it, this thing would be drifting all over the place. But uh, it's a nice solid platform there, and it, it makes it a lot easier to mount and unmount them. I should add at this point that uh, I just tried docking up my W510, and it fits. Um, so likely any of the 10, 20, or 30 series uh, Lenovo ThinkPads will dock up to this. Although somebody told me that an X230 will not, but uh, the tablet version of that laptop certainly will. Uh, so I have uh, a W510 docked right now. I know it fits a T420, a T430, T530, um, probably others, but... Um, Definitely a, a worthwhile hack. Even with the big 510 in there, you can see there's still quite a bit of room in there. I mean, I can fit my whole index finger in there. That's got to make cooling that laptop uh, a whole lot more efficient without all that extra plastic crap there. Hope you enjoyed this video. By the way, this is my first one, so I apologize for the herky-jerky motion. But uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it was instructional. Uh, please give us a like. If you liked the video, and I look forward to your comments in the comment section. Thanks, and have a good day.